Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the new one, uh, Tales of Halloween, which is a Halloween-oriented uh, anthology, which uh, I was really excited about because I love Halloween. I love anthologies. That's two uh, things right there. And uh, I definitely in the vein of something like Trick or Treat, which I absolutely love, which I thought was brilliant. And uh, this one is actually really good as well. But then again, like I said, I'm a sucker for Halloween and anthologies. Uh, we have 10 shorts here, all ranging from about 10 minutes. Here we have a wraparound with Adrian Barpo doing like her fog kind of uh, on the radio type deal, like in a similar to Wolfman Jack and the Midnight Hour. Uh, you know, stuff like that, which is really cool, and that kind of wraps things around. This movie is put together like a you know, it's like Trick or Treat with the, the kind of seeming into, like, uh, blending into the stories. Uh, not as seamless as Trick or Treat. I thought Trick or Treat did it a little bit better, maybe. But uh, this one also is, it's really tied in together by, you know, people watching the same program, Night of the Living Dead, and cops, uh, Adam Green and uh, Graham Skipper, I believe, is the other cop. So there's just tons of cameos in here. I can't get into everybody that's in this movie. I uh, heard a lot about it on the Killer uh, POV podcast and, uh, you know, the Movie Crit podcast. They were talking about it a lot. Uh, a lot of the people people that are involved with this were either guests or hosts of that uh, the, those uh, podcasts. So I've been hearing a lot about it, and I was very excited to see it, and I was very uh, uh, honored to review it. Uh, essentially what we have, like I said, 10 stories, so I'm going to hop into this. Um, the first story is uh, directed by Dave Parker, who did The Hills Run Red and The Dead Hate the Living, and uh, his kind of uh, plays on the old uh, Candyman, uh, Bloody Mary kind of story. It's not Candyman or Bloody Mary, but it's that type of story without giving it too much away. It's about people uh, that kind of ruin this kid's Halloween, and uh, he becomes this urban legend. Uh, it's gory, and uh, it starts off a little lighthearted, and then by the end, uh, it's a little bit twisted. All of them are very, kind of, uh, have that fun play, and then they get really twisted, and just desserts. It's it's, it's a lot of fun, like multiple Tales in the Crib episodes, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, the second one was uh, actually directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman, and this one is probably the most uh, silly. If anybody's ever seen the movie uh, by uh, Jeff Lieberman, uh, man, it's... it's it's uh, it's it's leaving me a, Satan's little helper. It kind of reminded me of that one, but the twist at the end was a lot more mean spirited. This one has a lot of funny imagery and is uh, really great about the devil teaching somebody the lesson of Halloween. Uh, I, I see the review is going to be talking, telling the stories more. So uh, the third one actually was done by uh, Adam Garage, who did a. Uh, the cool movie Fractured, if you guys have seen that movie. And uh, this one uh, has, uh, you know, the killer kids thing, and there's a twist at the end. I'm not sure how I feel about the twist, but I love the execution of this short. And it has uh, Trent Haga and other people in there. And there's some there's a beautiful uh, piece of camera work in here where it goes through the house and comes outside and falls. Uh, somebody's running this way, and the camera comes in from this way and goes through the house and everything like that. I, I, the way they did it was really nice. Uh, the special effects are great in here, uh, done by uh, Toe Tag's Jeremy Cruz. So uh, then we have the fourth one, which which has this really bizarre uh, Western flair. It's like Once About a Time in the West meets a Halloween story, which I which I dug as well. Uh, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, the fifth one uh, was kind of like a modern day Sleepy Hollow, starring the uh, lady uh, from uh, Starry Eyes, who is a is a great actress, and it also has a bunch of cameos in here. Stuart Gordon, uh, Lynn Shade, uh, just the cameos are never ending in this uh, film. Uh, the sixth one is probably uh, by Lucky McKee is the most uh, cerebral, uh, definitely uh, the most to think about. Uh, really bizarre stars. Mark Center in it, and uh, this one is crazy. This is about, you know, the uh, longing of a child and demonic uh, things, and also plays on fairy tale aspect as well. Uh, mo probably the most different of the bunch, and uh, the, the most uh, one that makes you feel the most uncomfortable. I'm, I'm looking at a sheet here to make sure I get these all in order because it's very hard when you're dealing with 10 shorts and 10 directors and things like that. I just need a refresher to remember who directed which short. And we have uh, the one that uh, with the competition directed by Andrew Cash and uh, John Skip. I, I'm not sure what they've done. I'm sure I've seen some of their movies. It's just not ringing a bell here. And this one's fun because it's a Halloween story that plays on the tropes of Christmas. Uh, the kind of a competition of building all these things outside. And, and, and a lot of people do it during Halloween too, but I think it's more of a Christmas thing. And these two guys uh, new from different uh, time frames in a horror society or different uh, eras kind of go at each other's throats. And uh, it's a lot of fun and it, it just gets over the top and it's, it's kind of like a Maybe a misunderstanding brought to ex escalated to ridiculous levels. Uh, the eighth one is one of the most fun ones. This was by Mike Mendez. When I watched it, I, I seen all the directors. I was like, that's by Dave Parker or Mike Mendez. I knew it, it had to be by one of those two. Uh, Mike Mendez did, you know, Big Ass Spiders and, and stuff like that, and The Killers, or The Real Killers, a.k.a. But uh, this one's a lot of fun. This is essentially what would happen if Jason or Leatherface or somebody like that uh, fought an alien. 
And, uh, you know, this is one of those things like where people will be talking about a feature, but it's perfect in the short form. Gory, over the top, uh, the little alien is adorably acute, and uh, it's just a blast. It's like uh, the first, the last ten minutes of uh, Freddy vs. Jason in a whole movie, and it, it just, I just love that one, and I thought it was really, really great. Uh, ninth is uh, Kidnapping Gone Wrong by uh, Ryan Schiffrin. And uh, this one is also pretty funny, and it, it definitely is one of those just dessert kind of stories where these two guys kidnap John Landis' this kid, and uh, he's not appear he's not what he appears to be. And the final one is Evil Pumpkin by uh, Neil Marshall, and this one just speaks to me. Uh, my only complaint about this one is I wish it was longer, and I wish it had uh, the pumpkin was outside more on Halloween and things like that. Uh, this one, I believe it was Kimball from uh, I want to say it was uh, from uh, Reno 911, and uh, Pat Healy was in it. Uh, and this one is a brilliant. Uh, anything to me, a killer pumpkin, is just speaks to my like sentimental, like just everything that I ever wanted in a horror movie, especially during Halloween. Uh, seeing like the pumpkin-headed creatures, like or just the pumpkin on the Halloween box, and just killer pumpkin. I just love the idea of it, and it's uh, really awesome as well. And uh, like I said, this is mixed through everything. Uh, it's got a lot. It's all got a lot of bright colors, a lot of cameos. Uh, you'll never get bored during this. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, maybe not as good as Trick or Treat, but just as fun as Trick or Treat. And uh, it has that uh, good mix of fun and twisted, demented stuff going on. And uh, the directors involved, they do uh, mix all their, their shorts well. Like, they go together, but they also have their own, like, unique voice to them, which I think is perfect for this. And it, it wouldn't be very easy to mix, like, all these different voices and different style of directors into one movie and make it not a mess and not coherent. But it, it, it is very, it's very coherent and uh, a lot of fun. And I enjoyed the cameos and I enjoyed uh, the comedy to it and uh, the the carnage and all the things they did. And uh, you know what? They do some things that I didn't expect them to do. I'm thinking, how could you come up with 10 different Halloween shorts uh, you know, without going into the same old stuff that we've seen? And these take the tro the tropes of Halloween and use them to their advantage, and then they also take the tropes of other fairy tales and ho holidays and they turn them on their head and use them for their own uh, you know, film. And I really like that. Uh, there's, a, there's so many shout-outs. There's a carpenter bar and stuff like that. And yeah, I, I I really liked it and I think that a lot of people enjoy it and I can't wait to rewatch it and uh, spot a bunch of cameos and things that I didn't notice originally but this is the Tales of Halloween it'll be released I believe October 13th on VOD not sure if there's a DVD or Blu-ray release plan but uh, I think uh, you guys will enjoy it I don't see that many people not at least finding a couple of these shorts vastly entertaining and fun but uh, I'm Mr. Parker thank you very much for watching and have a good one